scanning black items is pretty easy. As you can see here, I'm scanning this black turntable. It's a Lazy Susan with my markers on it. And I'll show you in this video the basic steps that you take to scan something that's black. It's best to use laser mode. You can do the cross laser or the line mode. Then you want to do object type black. Then from there, you just start scanning. Most of the time, you will not have to adjust the brightness or the exposure. You just start scanning and then see if it's picking up well. If it's not picking up enough, then you can increase the exposure. But right here is picking up just fine, so I knocked the exposure back down. Then you simply just scan away, just like it's scanning any color. The laser picks up the color black very easily, so it scans perfectly. And here I am scanning it. I just fast forward through this part. As you can see, it came out just fine. There's a few holes where I could have rescanned it some more. Here I'm going to be scanning some black plastic. It's for my airbrush. It's the handle for it. And again, the same process. You pretty much can use any laser mode and just scan as normal since the laser picks up black very well. It picks up on black 3D printed parts, picks up on black plastics, black metals. So really there's no trick to scanning black items. Just simply adjust the exposure up or down just slightly and see if it picks up the item or not. With this airbrush handle, I simply did another scan of it on its side. Then I went to process it merge it together. I'll have another video that goes over all the steps of processing a scan. And here's the final model. I end up doing three scans in total so I can get both of the sides so everything will be filled in with scan data. And here I am scanning a 3D Connect Space Mouse. It happens to be stainless steel shiny, black plastic, and gloss plastic. For this, you have to increase the exposure on the gloss plastic for it to pick up. Other than that, everything is scanning fine. You simply need to do more frames so they can capture more data. As you can see, it's picking up the top part. I'll just go ahead and speed up the scan here. And the scan has finished. I'll go ahead and process it. And there you go. You have the finished scan. This happened to be black, gloss black, and shiny. Scan came out great. If there's any parts that are missing, you can always go back and scan them. And thank you for watching.